Hi, welcome back to the channel. So this is my thousand mile review of my Renault Zoe. I've only had it, I think, for about two weeks um, and I've covered a thousand miles. Um, so let me talk about the amazing stuff and a couple of the little annoying things. So hopefully you enjoy this video. It's a typical thing. I've pulled off of the driveway and it is absolutely chucked it down. Um, to the point where the rain was that strong on the dual carriageway that everyone's driving at 60. Um, so I'm off of there now and it seems to have settled down a bit. Um, so yeah, the like Zoe in the thousand miles, I mean, it's basically been an incredible car. Just to start off, if you're thinking of buying one, my opinion is buy one. Um, because it is incredible and there are a lot of money and I know and for me it's like always get the batteries included um, I mean obviously everybody's in their own circumstances and stuff like that but if you're gonna if you're gonna be a commuter like me you've got to include the batteries because it financially it just doesn't make sense to rent them because you're paying like I can't remember what it is but it's like 110 pound a month to rent the batteries um, and yes it'll be cheaper than probably what you'd put in fuel but you'll save even more if you can charge at work or somewhere else where you're getting a little bit of free charge or such um, and it will save you some money anyway back to the car so I am um, sort of if you so the let's go with the big thing that we all want to know sort of the range and how the range is coped so it's advertised at 180 you see people putting up 200 mile range um, on like the four rooms and even 250 and you're there going Christ that's incredible how have they managed to get sort of 250 mile range well of course this is my opinion if you're in a city and especially on some downhill parts um, and you're not using a lot of energy you're right you're going to get really good range um, so but for me as a commuter my range is dual carriageway for 12 miles and then the rest of it is like proper country roads up and down hilly um, and in my opinion the average person's driving if you're not from a city um, and, I, and I've already obviously mentioned my commute before but you're basically looking at around a 90 mile commute to work and back um, and this car I have no issues with range um, and it's not I've, it, it, it's not made me go like oh no I'm you know am I gonna make it because my typical range I'm getting out of this car and this is the uh, the 40 I think it's 43 or 42 or 41 kilowatt but say 40 40 kilowatt Zoe um, so my I'd say my average range is probably and I'm gonna stick it around 165 to a full charge now if I drive super economically and um, and your driving style does change I'll talk about that in a minute um, I can get about 170 to 175 I have seen 189 on the uh, fully charged on the gesso meter but that was when I went on a trip to Skeg Vegas um, that I've done a video on as well um, and it's very flat and it was a beautiful nice day um, and it was like cruising mostly probably about sort of 50 to 40 miles an hour um, and it got me 189 range on the gesso meter so I was really impressed with it with that but averagely to work on an average person commuting I'd say 165 um, so you've got plenty um, and what I tend to do is I drive to work um, so I start my working week on a full charge I drive to work I put my car on, on charge then I drive home drive to work and charge again on the granny charger now that granny charger gives me on a 90 mile commute it's pretty much back to sort of not normally 100% but it will get me back to about 99 98 and what I do is obviously then I drop down percentages all through the shifts and I do like most people do five shifts in a row um, and then at the end of the five shifts what I do is I plug it in at home and I top the, bat the battery up but at no point have I sat there going <gasps> I'm really low on range here um, and that's kind of what people think with electric cars but people forget and this is the biggest thing if you're thinking of changing the biggest thing is you're plugging in if you want to you can plug your car in every single day at home get up every single day and you've got 165 170 mile range um, every day you're never sitting there going like, oh am I gonna get to a, pet a petrol station or here we go again because it's always charged if you want to live like that now I still have the moral in my head where why put yourself through range anxiety to push yourself somewhere just stop at a charger even if you've got 
you know, 50, 60 miles and you're passing someone, you go, do you know what, I can plug this in for 20 minutes, half an hour, top it up and not get stressed about it. Don't leave it until the last second. And the Zoe's very, very good at that. Um, so, as, as a drive side, it's perfectly fine. Now, I don't, I did an eco test and I was driving on eco to try and eco out the miles out. I've kind of given that up because I like to just drive my car. Now, my driving style has changed, definitely. I'm now sort of letting up on the throttle when I'm coming up to things like a roundabout and I can see that a car's there and I let the regen kick in as much as possible and when I get to the roundabout um, I'm at a crawling sort of pace that I can see and I can continue and my driving in for smoothness is a lot better um, because I want the regen so when I'm going down a hill for instance I'll look at it and I think well, I'm slightly going to lift off now and get some regen back in the brakes and the regen adds the miles on um, so for instance if I'm doing a typical say 45 mile journey to work um, I can get the regen and if I'm really good with the regen it will put enough miles on that the guess I meter will say I've only used say 35 and I've gained 10 miles on, re on regen so your driving style does change. You've kind of got to be a bit prepared for that. I'm going to relax a bit now um, because that's the joys of electric. It kind of makes you relax your driving skills and you kind of ease off your front. Like there's a 30 sign coming up now and I've just eased off and I'm just drifting up. And the whole time I'm drifting up to, and it feels like you're braking because it's got the regen coming in, it gets the car what you want. It gets the car sort of down to 30, but you just smoothly away and you're in my diesel. I would have seen the 30 got almost to the 30 and put my foot on the brakes to slow down to 30. I'm just letting the car drift there and it's actually quite relaxing. Um, so I want to talk about a little bit of a, uh, it's, it's not a pain, it's just not the best. So the entertainment system, the panel that you can make your phone calls on, listen to your music, do all that. Now a lot of people go, it's really clunky. It's not clunky, it's actually okay. Um, the downside of it is, is when you press a button, I think, and this is what we're all used to on a smartphone, you press the button on a smartphone and it's boom, it's there. This takes one, two seconds for the menu to pop up, um, and that's the only thing about it. You just press it, you wait for the menu to come up and you press it again. Now, there's things I still haven't worked out about this, so if I want to make a call, for instance, I press the button, um, for I press the home button first or the menu button I should say actually and then I press the phone button and then it will come up and then I have to put call log because most people I call obviously in my call log that seems to be my quickest way to get to the person it has voice um, voice command the actual Renault version you press that driving along it, it just takes about 10 attempts to get it to work so it's, it's, that's rubbish um, so I tend to just tap it and tap it and that's through, I'm through, I'm ringing who I want to ring and that, that seems to work a lot better. Now the Apple, uh, not Apple sorry, because they, they don't have Apple Play, you only have Android or Auto and luckily I have an Android phone. Now you plug that in and that does mirror the screen and the one thing I'll say with a tip is if just before you have to go on your journey, if you turn your phone off and on or reset it, and then obviously it's freshly fired up. When you plug it in, everything will work on it a lot, lot smoother. And the um, the voice command, the same as your Google, if you ever say, hey Google, da 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 da, works spot on. And you can call easily call someone, pull your Spotify up. It works an absolute treat. Now, the, um, and the, and the sat nav size, so if you want to watch that WAS, as I've been called, it's WAS, I call it WAS before it is called WAS. Um, if you pull that up and you sat nav or your Google Maps, everything on that works brilliantly. So it's a cracking bit of kit, but it's the same thing with that. When you touch the button, that takes actually longer, and probably I'd say about five seconds for what you want to appear on the screen. Um, so you've got to be aware of that. There is a delay. So if you're ringing someone, you press the wrong person, you'll go, oh, it's not gone through. And then it'll appear, and then you're, oh, I've got to hang up. So you've got to again give it a few seconds you can't be in a rush to use that system it does work but take your time um now the bow sound system oh wow the bow sound system in this car is worth every single penny now the one thing i've done is it's got like a neutral um and then you've just got treble and bass on the setup in the in the options now we've got a sub in the boot and on on the on the is it natural sorry not neutral natural sound you can't really hear it now i'm no spring chicken that wants doo, 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 doo. i really really don't i grew up um you know i don't wear my trousers down by my an ankles thinking it's really really cool it's generally sad but i do like good sounding music um 
Now, I, I've done is I've put the bass up by by basically plus three, and I've left the rest alone. And the sound quality, just by doing that, the improvement in the car is, it's I just it's probably the best sound system I've ever heard. Um, it's just so crisp and smooth. Um, and I would give you a, an example of that, but what will happen is my video will get pulled off for copyright, so I can't do that. But trust me when I say the Bose sound system is worth every single penny. Um, now, obviously, it came in standard. Now, if you pick the S edition that I've got, Bose sound system, leather seats, um, everything on this car comes standard. Your, re, your reversing camera, and I generally say to you right now, get the S edition because it's got all the extras that you go. I'd like. Am I willing to pay an extra £300, £400 for a Bose sound system? Am I ever willing to spend an extra £300 on a reversing camera? You may as well just get this version because it's got it all. Um, so that would be my advice as well, get the S edition. Um, but the Zoe itself, um, like I said, it's been fine. Now again, it's not a fast charger and I'm not trying to drive Mercedes to Scotland and needing to do three or four charges on the way. But I believe it will charge at 22 kilowatt. Now my seven kilowatt home charger, for example, when I plug that in, I because I've got used to the granny charger, seems really quick. And most of the time, the three times I have plugged it in at home, I so say I'm at 40%, 50%. It will charge the car in four to five hours to full. So 22 kilowatt would probably top this car up. I'm guessing um, to about 80% in probably about an hour and a half. Um, and all I turn around and say is, is plan. All you've got to do is plan. If you're going somewhere, and to be honest, an hour and a half, if you plug in, go for a wee, go and get a coffee, you don't have to stay for the hour and a half just to get some charge to get to the next place you want to go for a wee and a coffee. But it's not the end of the world. I understand that you want this car to be 100% and you want it all done within an hour on a fast charger and you want to pop in and you want to go to the loo and grab your coffee and walk out and go, oh, it's ready to go and pull out. But just take your time. Look, I generally say, look at it as a more chilled out experience. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna you know, grab myself a coffee. I'm gonna go and grab myself something to eat. I'm gonna reply to some work emails, get a few bits done that I want to do, or order these things, or plan the wife's birthday, whatever you've got to do, um, and just chill out because it's all right. It didn't, it's not the end of the world, is it? Um, so you've got to remember that it's not got fast charging, but in my opinion don't really need it unless you're a regular person that goes I'm gonna drive to Scotland for work because a holiday you just factor in a little bit of extra time for your charging um, so there's that yeah the air conditioning side and the preheat now everybody was moaning about the app as well you get a Renault app that's included I think it's like 18 months it's included for then you've got to pay a subscription fee but um, so that um, actually works really well and it just gives you uh, basically you go on the app and it does two things it gives you an indication of how much charge is in your ve your vehicle if it what kind of charger it's plugged into for example um, it gives you kind of like an estimated time so that's one thing that it does and the other thing it does is you can precondition the car um, and for me personally the precondition has worked every time in the two weeks other than once um, and only one time it just didn't seem to precondition car and maybe I'd set the app up wrong maybe it was me maybe it wasn't the app um, but every time I've said right I want to get I'm getting up at four in the morning um, so I'm gonna get in my car and I've been in for half past four or five o'clock and I've got in it and the car is on the air conditions on and like we're having like we've had really hot weather and having really really sort of wet weather at the moment um, and obviously you're getting a bit of like misting inside the car like in the early hours of the morning and it's great you turn it on and it's it's you get in it and it's demisted and it's perfectly fine so that has worked a treat for me personally the you've got a key you can hold down the button for five seconds and it will make the indicators flash and it will do exactly the same thing so you can do it if you want to you know walk up to the car and make sure it's worked but the app has worked for me personally the TomTom Tom sat nav is brilliant it's got speed camera beeps in it you've got live traffic you've got all that stuff that is absolutely cracking and that comes in standard in all the Zoe's as far as I'm aware um, so yeah the Zoe has been absolutely cracking uh, a thousand miles no issues it's just been a great little car and it it makes you a better driver it really makes you a better driver because you are relaxing easing off and you're cruising you're not it just makes you better so all i can say it makes you better um so yeah um it's been cracking um i haven't cleaned it so I, hopefully i'll be able to give you a quick show around the outside um of the car 
Um, but if there's anything you want to know wise about owning an electric car or owning the Renault Zoe, um, then obviously drop it in the comments and I will be more than happy to reply. I can't think of anything else to tell you about this car really that's important. And the one thing I'll say about my channel is, is that I'm the average bloke who's bought a car to use for a commute. I'm no car expert, I'm not going to sit there and tell you about torque and this and that. I just want a good car, good car that does what it does on the tin and saves me money. And it's too early for me to tell you how much money I'm saving on this car. Um, but I've charged, like I said, three times and none of them have been from empty uh, in two weeks. So this car's got to be saving me some serious, like some serious money because I do 200, £250 a month on diesel. Um, but we'll obviously find that out as we go how much cost saving that there is um, and we'll get there. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you could do me a massive favour and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel because obviously I'd love to grow and I generally find it, it's, it's just nice to be appreciated. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video as well um, and that's fantastic. Anything you'd like to see in the future obviously drop in the comments and I'll uh, do my best to try and do sort of give you a video based on that. Um, but I've enjoyed it, I hope you've enjoyed it um, and we'll try and get some more challenges in. There's going to be a few miles, um, obviously I'm going to add to this car so I'll let you know about sort of future reviews, how I found it over more and more time. Um, but yeah, anything you can think of you want me to do a video on and you'd like to see then absolutely give us a shout in the comments and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, have a lovely day, bye bye.